Hello, today I will show you how to use Franco Amicas Panda robot with joint position controller with given speeds. Uh, we have developed a new method to control the joint position with the speeds. Normally this is not possible but we are trying a new thing. So we will start with the first joint to show you and I will start sending the first joint to 50 degrees with 3 degrees per second. working now I am sending first joint to 15 degrees with 5 degrees per second no problem sending first joint to 15 degrees with 10 degrees per second as you can see a small oscillation happens this is happening due to uh, we are just directly sending the mini steps that we explained in the report so the acceleration and deceleration phases are too quick that the joint uh, does not have time to slow down and trying to suddenly stop that's causing an oscillation it will be more visible when I send the it back to the, the beginning position with 15 degrees focus on the stop position as you can see the oscillation is very visible right now so we can say that our method is only working for the first joint with uh, almost 10 degrees now I will go on further with the second position I'm sending the second joint to minus 60 degrees with 3 degrees per second Not much problem, so sending it back to the minus 45 degrees where it started with 5 degrees per second. As you can see, a small oscillation has happened, but it will be more visible now that we are sending the second joint to the minus 60 degrees with 10 degrees per second. As you can see, it's, this is not uh, feasible to work with anymore, so it's just basically shaking. Even the back backstep is shaking by the oscillation. Now sending third joint to the 15 degrees with 3 degrees per second. Not much a problem, so sending the third joint to 0 degree with 5 degrees per second. A small oscillation happened, maybe it's not visible, but maybe you could hear. Sending the third joint to the 15 degrees with 10 degrees per second. As you can see, even at the beginning it started oscillating because the, the same thing applies for the, 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 the acceleration have, as also applies for the acceleration. So when it's too high, it's just causing a jerk and then this jerk is causing a oscillation in the the joints. So let's send the joint back to its original position. Uh, fourth joint is in 100 minus uh, minus 135 degrees. So I'm sending back to the minus 120 with three degrees per second. Not much a problem. Sending back to the minus 135 with 5 degrees. A very little oscillation happens. Maybe you can hear the, the sound. So sending back to the minus 120 with 5, oh sorry, 10 degrees. As you can see, it started oscillating. It's small, but it started oscillating. It, it will be a problem. So sending to the original position. Now we are proceeding with the fifth joint to 15 degrees with 3 degrees per second. Not much a problem. With going back with the 5 degrees, there is no problem again. Okay. 15 degrees, this time with 10 degrees per second. 
a small oscillation happened, but it's not much a problem. Let's try 15 degrees. Ah, as you can see, 15 degrees is not uh, feasible to work with. So we will keep on with the sixth joint. Sixth joint is in two at 90 degrees, so we are sending it to 105 degrees with three degrees per second. much a problem sending it back to 90 degrees with 5 degrees not much a problem once again sending back to 105 with 10 degrees not much a problem again to 90 degrees again with this time 15 as you can see the oscillation happened again with the, our last joint the seventh joint is to at 45 degrees so we are sending it to 60 degrees with 3 degrees per second not much a problem so 7 joint to 45 degrees with 5 degrees per second not a problem again so 7 joint to 60 degrees this time with 10 degrees per second much a problem but it's very little oscillation happened there back to the 45 degrees with 15 degrees it's very small it's not very visible but it's the oscillation is happening very small and very tiny possible maybe we can try to do 20 degrees per second to see what's going on as you can see it's just now oscillating so uh, as we are getting from the first joint to the the joint gets closer to the, the gripper that we can uh, apply more speed to the joints they are more open to the higher speeds the first joint was good around 10 but 15 was highly oscillating uh, the worst one is the second joint possible because uh, possibly because the second joint is also the carrying the, 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 the weight of the rest of the arm so, uh, and it's not in the, the direction of the, the gravity itself so uh, it's also the gravity is applying onto the, the, the joint so possible that this is increasing the oscillations the others are not that bad but the, uh, the the second one is just really prone to oscillations with even with this small speed so it's maybe five degrees is enough uh, the others as I mentioned before the 10 to 15 degrees we can work on but uh, anything more than 10 is seems to causing problems so we, we can say that we can work with uh, 10 degrees per second with each joint uh, maybe even less with the second one Thank you.